Hey everybody, it's Ninja Mom. Sorry that I'm in front of this crap window and it's giving one heck of a glare. But, okay, so <laughs> five of my Eight Goose Creek candles arrived today. So we're going to go through those ones. Uh, and then when the others come, we'll go through those. So your girl, I went a little crazy. I put in quite a few orders. Um, these were all supposed to come at the same time, and they did not. But we're going to just dive in. And, of course, my camera is going to go in and out because of the freaking light behind me from the sun and whatever. So, sorry. It is what it is. Can't fight with Mother Nature. So, if you don't like it darkening and stuff. Then. So, the first candle we're going to pull out right here. I have not smelled any of these. This is Snowman Cookie. Just for Santa, it's a delicious half-baked sugar cookie covered in whipped marshmallow icing. Top notes, winter sugar cookie. Swirled icing is the mid-note. Base note, bakery note, sprinkles, warm vanilla bean marshmallow. So as you see, it is a cute little jar. The label's just right here. It's not a wraparound. The basic Goose Creek lid. Upon opening, it's beautiful, beautiful blue wax. Upon opening it, it does have, these are quite cold because it's like 30s here right now. So I'm going to warm it up with my finger a little bit. There we go. Oh my, this is good. You definitely get that vanilla bean and marshmallow and that cookie dough. This is definitely a cookie dough marshmallow scent. This is really sweet. It's really nice. I love, love the little snowman, the Christmas aesthetic. Um, I don't know what winter sugar cookie is supposed to be, but it does smell <laughs> like a half-baked sugar cookie with marshmallow icing. So that's that one. Then the next one I got is the Red Velvet Cupcake. Another beautiful Christmas one. Same basic lid. Beautiful red wax. Whew, as soon as you open this, you get a chocolate note. So this says, yummy, delicious Red Velvet Cupcakes are covered in cream cheese icing. Grandma's recipe comes to life. Top notes, red berries, coconut sugar, and vanilla. Mid note vanilla base, red velvet cake batter, cocoa powder, dark chocolate whipped buttercream. You definitely get the chocolate coming out of this. Oh, how neat. Okay, so before I started warming it with my finger and it was just a cold candle. I'm so sorry about the lighting. So before I started warming it with my finger, it smelled more along the lines of like a chocolate cake batter. When it was just cold, 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 and I didn't warm it with the finger. But as I warm it with my finger... You start to smell like a red berry, and you definitely get the frosting more. This smells really good, you guys. It's lightly buried, and you the chocolate comes through very well. You guys can actually kind of see where I was warming it with my fingers. That is such a unique, really yummy take. What did I do with the lid? right there on a red velvet cupcake I really like this in the jar come on now now these three are older and one is a repurchase so we'll do the repurchase which is jungle pebbles um, I bought one of these for Angie Kentucky waxy girly it is in her box and um, I bought another one and now this one this one's going to another this is actually going to a family member um, this one is the nostalgic around your favorite fruity childhood cereal wild berry lemon lime cherry orange grape sugared cereal notes sh powdered sugar this smells exactly like fruity pebbles right out the box like just free pebbles this is two wicks the other ones were three wick but that's what this reminds me of um just fruity pebbles see there's three wick in these two wick in the taller these ones are 14.5 three, three wicks are 14.5 ounces and the two wicks, I believe, are 16. Yeah, 16 ounce. 
Now these next two of the cereal candles I have not had before. So these are newbies. So this is the Fruity Hoops. Obviously we know what it is. A tropical explosion of fruity flavors covered in powdered sugar. Lemon, lime, orange, strawberry, summery, citrus, sugared cereal notes and powdered sugar. These have the wrap around. So on cold, right off on cold, it smells like your Fruit Loops. But I want to warm it up because I'm noticing that these candles change when you warm them. So let's warm it up with a finger and see. So it's Fruit Loops. <laughs> Definitively, it is Fruit Loops. Um, it's a really good Fruit Loop. It is a very sweet, yummy Fruit Loop. It, this literally smells like the powder in the bottom of your Fruit Loops bowl. Like in the bag, the very bottom of it, the powder. That's what this smells like. It is very strong. And last but not least of this, I got the Pink Berry Crisp. Another wraparound label. And this one is described as a mouth-watering aroma of sugary, sweet, strawberry-flavored cereal, strawberry pound cake pieces, red berries, milk, vanilla, sugar, cereal notes, and powdered sugar. So, on cold, when you first open it, you get that. You definitely smell strawberry pound cake. Definitely smell that on cold. Really cold. <laughs> really cold. When you open it, you definitely smell the strawberry pound cake scent. So, let's warm her on up with the finger. And now, it changes a little bit. Okay, so, this smells like if you were to take strawberry pound cake, the candle... Um, obviously the strawberry pound cake and mix it with Captain Crunch Berries, just the Crunch Berries. That's what this smells like. If you were to mix strawberry pound cake and Captain Crunch Berries together, you would have this. This is a delicious, very sweet scent. I actually think that this is really, really nice. And Angie, I think you would dig this scent. I think you would dig this. Now, I was talking to Angie earlier, Kentucky Waxy Girly, uh, a girl, about um, if I, since I always buy these and I freeze, pull them out, chop them up, my candles, um, I always can give really good reviews as how they will perform as wax melts that way. But I want to take one of the many candles I have coming, because I have many more still arriving, and then I made a purchase today for wax melts from them. Oh my gosh, you guys, stop me. Um... I have, I want to pick one of these and burn it like a candle, like a candle should be burned. So I don't know what one I want to do. So why don't you guys comment down below what one you guys think I should melt like a candle. Um, and, um, I will. So I'm going to put it out there. The Christmas ones I'm not melting as a candle. I'm going to chop them up and store the wax in those. So out of the pink berry crisps or the fruity hoops, which one of these do you think I should melt as a candle? Or you guys can pick one of the next um, many candles that I have arriving um, as my candle to light up and melt that way for you guys so you guys can know the reviews I have for it that way. So thank you guys for joining me on my Goose Creek candle haul. You guys have many more of them to come. You guys will see my face again today. Not with Goose Creek, but with um, L3 Waxy Wonders haul. It's just a very small haul, but you will see my face again. I hope you guys have a great, great Monday. And I would love to hear your comments on any of these candles if you guys have gotten them yourselves. I ain't gonna lie, I went cray cray on all the holiday candles and all of the holiday wax melts. This is my time of the year. Your girl goes bananas. And I love Goose Creek. Uh, Goose Creek, I think, is a lot of hate that they don't deserve. Um, I know people say a lot of negative things about them, like that, that they don't allow certain ratings on reviews, that they don't do this, that they don't do that. But I can tell you I have had impeccable, impeccable awesomeness from their, um, one, their customer service, as well as the products that they have. If you receive a broken candle, they're really good about replacing it. 
Um, yeah, th they're really, really good. I love them. Um, out of all of these, I'm not going to lie, my favorite was the snowman cookie. I'm digging this. This beach is going right into the freezer and getting chopped up right away so that I can start melting some of that. That smells really good. The one that shocks and awes me the most out of all these definitely would be the red velvet cupcake because of that berry note. That's what separates it from all the other red velvet cupcakes you smell around this time of year. You definitely get that chocolate cake batter type scent. But that berry note is what separates this so much from other people's um, red velvet cake. I did get their red velvet marshmallow. Give me a second. Your girl will tell you what I got. Thank you. I did get the, okay, I did get the marshmallow red velvet as well. Um, so we'll have, we'll do a comparison between the two and see how those are. Um, I also got the sugar cookie dough candle coming. I also have the cotton candy blizzard, I think it's called. I'll have to pull up my, here it is. The yeah, cotton candy blizzard. I also purchased that one. So I'm very excited for those to get here. And I purchased so, so many more, you guys. Uh, like I said, these guys have been having it. I cannot wait to get the Cotton Candy Blizzard here. I can't wait to get the Cookie Dough here. I can't wait to get the Peppermint Whip here. Um, I can't wait to get the Eskimo Kiss here. Um, the Eskimo Kiss is not for me. That's being sent to a friend. It is a Christmas candle I'm purchasing for her because I love to send her beautiful candles. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it's for my friend Angie. I love sending her beautiful things. So she has one of these candles coming. I wanted to be the person that purchased her first Christmas candle from Goose Creek this year. So she will have one of those coming. And some other goodies from me. We love to send each other stuff all the time as much as we possibly can. So it's like as soon as one box goes out, we're building another. <laughs> I hope that all of you have a great time. I'm going to go freeze and enjoy some of this snowman cookie um oh i did want to do a shout on a scent that is not goose creek at all but it is cookie if y'all have not had yankee candles christmas cookie don't play don't play um go get it you can find them at your local walmart or i'm sure purchase them from their website but it is super duper good um i gotta stop i gotta stop gotta stop gotta stop they, oh this is very buttery by the way this has a good buttery note to it um i love that I can actually feel it in the back of my throat. That sounds so weird. When something has a really good buttery note, though, and it's super creamy, I can actually, it's like when I smell it, I feel it in the back of my throat. I'm such a weirdo. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm yeah, we're on like a freaking psycho. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye. Please like, share, comment below. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that little notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a new video. Bye.